Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to connect a transformer in order for it to work as an auto transformer. But before, let's see what is the difference between the normal transformer and the auto transformer. The transformer is a very simple device. It consists of two coils that are wound around an iron core. So you can transfer energy from one coil through the other through electromagnetic induction. So you apply a voltage to one coil and obtain another voltage in the other coil. The relation of the voltages is given by the relation of the number of windings in each coil. For example, if you have 100 windings here and 10 here, there will be a tenfold relationship of voltages. You apply 120 volts to the primary and you obtain 12 volts in the secondary. The auto transformer also has two coils that are wound around an iron core, the same as the transformer, but the two coils are connected in series. So at the output, you can obtain the sum of the two voltages or the difference depending on how you wire the two coils. We will see this in a moment. The transformer has a great advantage and it is that it is isolated. One coil is independent from the other. There is no electrical connection between the primary and the secondary. So if you have in your primary the wall tension, 120 volts, and in the secondary, in this case is 18 volts. Here you have low voltage that is independent from the high voltage at the input. Do you need electronic components? At utsource.net you can find all kinds of electronic components for your project and also accessories and tools. In the description of this video, you can find the link to visit the website. In the auto transformer, both coils have a point in common, so there is always an electrical connection between the primary and the secondary. The auto transformer has two advantages regarding to the normal transformer. One is that for the same quantity of iron, the auto transformer can manage higher power levels. For example, a transformer of 100 watts, if you wire it as auto transformer, can give you 20 to 30% more power for the same quantity of iron. Also, in an auto transformer, they are normally built so that, as you see in the image, they can, the connection between the two windings can be varied so the output voltage can vary continuously. In this way, you can select the voltage that you need at the output. Here we can see how to make the connection of the transformer in order for it to work as an auto transformer. We will make a connection between primary and secondary. But you can make the connection here or here and from that depends the output voltage that you get. Because there is a polarity on the windings of the transformer. So if you connect in one way, you will obtain at the output the sum of the two voltages or the difference depending if you connect here or here. So here is our transformer. This side is the primary and this is the secondary. This transformer has a center tap. So Let's ignore it for the purposes of this explanation. So primary and secondary. Here we apply the wall power, 127 volts. And here we have 18 volts. That is the output of this transformer. First, let's check with the multimeter the real values of input and output. Okay, this is the voltage at the input. We can see that it is around... 128 volts. 
the output of the transformer in the secondary we have almost 22 volts. Okay, here we made the connection between the primary and secondary from this side of the primary to this end of the secondary coil and we can see that the voltage is 150 volts that is the sum of the two previously measured voltages. Now we change the connection from this point to the other in the secondary coil and now the voltage is 105 volts that is the difference of the two voltages. So there you have it as we can see we can connect the transformer as an auto transformer and depending on the side of the secondary coil that we connect to the primary we can obtain the sum of the two voltages or the difference. That is because the direction of the windings affect in the sense of the current so we can have an addition or subtraction of voltages. And of course in this type of wiring we do not have the functionality of a real auto transformer that has a dial that we can turn and obtain a continuously variable voltage. But we can use this setup if we need a voltage different from the wall voltage. That's all for today. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next video.